gentlemen, Mr. Wayne Newton. <laughs> So that would be yellow, I'm guessing. <laughs> Are you telling about the shirt or me? <laughs> no, 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 not you at all. I, you know, as I read this, this surprised me. First late night uh, television uh, appearance in 10 years. It didn't, doesn't seem that long. Well, I, I figured it out tonight, because your producer asked me how long it had been since I'd done uh, one of these shows, and I, I tell you how long it's been. It's when Carson was hosting his own show. <laughs> <laughs> that long ago, eh? Hey? Wow, that's going back. <laughs> You know, another thing, I mentioned, uh, I, I mentioned the first country album you've done, but you, I happen to know, you actually, you really got started in country music, well, which from, a lot of people don't know. Yes, I'm from Virginia originally, and uh, the first instrument I ever played was a steel guitar. Yeah. And I used to travel with the Grand Ole Opry Road shows when they'd uh, travel through Virginia and Tennessee. So who were the, the names you were listening to and, and growing oh. up with and uh, getting excited about? I mean, there were a lot of great ones. Uh, uh, Kitty Wallace, Hawkshaw Hawkins, yeah. uh, Hank yeah. Snow. Uh, listen, listen to some of these stats. Is this all one human being we're talking about? Uh, is this, this all true here? You had your own radio show at age six? I did. Where was this? What do you do at age six on the radio? I, uh, I played steel guitar and sang, believe it or not, uh, and I didn't know that everybody wasn't doing it at the age of six. <laughs> uh, and that was in Roanoke, Virginia. Oh, my potty training still wasn't complete at age six. <laughs> That's you, what I heard. I've been to talk to you about that. <laughs> Your own TV show by age 12? Was this a local uh, production somewhere? It was in Phoenix, Arizona. I had a local television show. Yeah. Now Singing you know, and playing. Now you know why I left Phoenix. Right? <laughs> uh, of course, Jackie Gleason was the big break. How many of those? You did about a dozen or so? I did about 12 uh, Jackie Gleason shows over a two, now, three year period. Now, these numbers are amazing. 90, 90 gold albums? 90? Not gold. No, 90, 90 albums. albums? Oh, yeah. oh, I'm sorry. Only 90 albums. Yeah. Few of them are uh, yeah. few black. <laughs> <laughs> Mostly vinyl. Yes. Uh, two, is 250 singles? Yes. Uh, what was the biggest selling single? Daddy, Don't You Walk So Fast. Uh, and Tom, let me guess, Scott, Scott's Tom, worked on everything. Tom, Tom was not on that album. Uh, <laughs> no, no. Uh, Tom was on that. Were record. you in fact? I played on that. Sure. Yeah. Yes. And 25 years in Las Vegas. How many weeks a, a year do you do? I've I've gone from uh, uh, 36 weeks a year. I do about 20 now. Yeah. Have you figured out what 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 it is that that has made you? I mean, that's a that's a tremendous run to have in that town and it's it, no no sign of abating it's getting bigger bigger than ever what what is it because a lot of people play that town and, and no one has done it quite the way you have it's fear 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 <laughs> fear of having to sell a few arabians <laughs> <laughs> i think it's uh if i think i kind of grew up in that town I, I went there at the age of 15 and it truly is kind of the last frontier in terms of on stage entertaining and uh and it's the most competitive place in the world. I mean, where else could you go and find literally every major star in the world appearing on, on kind of on one street yeah. at the same time? So uh, I think all of that has kind of kept me on my toes, and, and, I, and I work hard. We, yeah. we have a good time, and I, I know how to work, and I know how to play. I don't know how to mix the two. Yeah, yeah. They, yeah you give them a show. There's no yeah. doubt about that. Are you, uh, do, you ever, do you ever hang any, just, just us, Wayne, do you ever hang around the tables at all uh, in, in Las Vegas? In Las Vegas? Yeah. Never? Never. I've never been to one of the tables. Really? I've owned two casinos, and I've been there since I was 15, and I've never been to one of the tables. He gads. I, that, that's that surprise. A few of the rooms, some... but yeah. never one of the tables. <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, you have what? You have one daughter? I have one daughter who just turned 13. God help me. <laughs> <laughs> she, uh, now, does she ask a lot? I mean, you know, it's, it's, She's, she's, she's worse than when I was married. Uh, I mean, my wife would say, where are you going and, and what are you going to do? But my daughter would call and make sure I was there. <laughs> <laughs> are, you, are you good at giving advice on, on, uh, on the well, love and romance and, and yeah. female things? Uh, no, I, I'm not. I, I'm a typical dad that way, I think. I, I, uh, I've been a single parent for, for six years. And uh, about a year ago, uh, I always tuck my daughter in, into bed every night. And, and I was tucking her in, and she said, she was in the seventh grade then, so I hope 
this doesn't embarrass her in any way. Uh, she said, Daddy, can I ask you a question? And I said, sure. And she said, can I shave my legs? Uh -huh. And I went, oh, God! <laughs> good, good reaction. Oh, Lord, no. And I said, no, no, no. And then I realized at least she's asking me. Yeah. Uh, which was, a good, you know, the right step. And so I said, no, let, me, let me think about it, because I don't know when girls start to shave their legs. I mean, Bob Goulet shaved his legs. <laughs> He was about 14. He was about 14. Yeah. <laughs> Cut himself both times. It was amazing. So did you check it? Did you do some research? Yeah, I, I asked her governess. I said, when, when do girls start to shave their legs? And she said, uh, different times. Yeah. Which I think when they can start fires when they walk. <laughs> I think we'll take a break. What do you say? We'll be back with Wayne Newton. Stay there. Wayne's going to sing later, too. Welcome back. We're here with Wayne Newton. And I know what you're saying. Gee, it's great to see him here and hear him talking, but is he going to sing? And yes, he is a little bit later, aren't you? Yeah. Got some of the guys and got some of the guys and some of the girls. Yeah. I yeah. want you to know these are not my hours. <laughs> That's wrong. Oh. That's right. You do keep... What's a typical working schedule for you? I about? usually get home about the time I got up this morning to come here. Uh, I usually get home when I'm working, uh, probably four or five in the morning. Wow. Then I take my daughter to school. And uh, then I come back and sleep until it's time to pick her up. So your hours of sleep, your sleep hours are what? Probably from about uh, 5 to 7 and then 8 to 2. He gets. Depending on any meetings I might have. But, I, but you've done, done it for so long, I assume your body is kind of adjusted to that. I'm not sure it ever does. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's not unlike the guy who tells you if you, you know, if you really work out, you'll, you'll get to the point where you enjoy no, it. That's you know, baloney. I hate it. <laughs> I always hated it. Your runners will tell you that. It'll be a high one day. Yes. I don't know. It was always kind of low for me. But, I never made it. Well, anyway. But do you do some of that? Are you, do you work out? Do you, uh... Yes, I do. And, and it's not something I enjoy, though. I, uh, I'm also on the President's Council for Physical Fitness, wow. and there was an interesting thing that you will appreciate. Uh, uh, they determined, the council determined by all these uh, tests that they did, that joggers do live two to three years longer than people that do not jog. Mm -hmm. However, that two or three years is spent jogging. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that. Let me write that statistic down. I know you couldn't go through the rest of the evening without knowing that. No, I enjoyed finding that out. Can we talk about some of the people uh, you've worked with, you know, during the Open, we talked about some of the greats. Sure. We saw a picture of you with Lucy. Uh, you, did, you did her show. I did about 12 Lucy shows. In fact, one show of hers that I did uh, has kind of become a classic and almost ruined my career. Because uh, oh. everybody thought that I really looked and sounded that way because it's been shown so many times. <laughs> it was with the... Uh, the Cows and the chickens. Yeah, and, uh, <laughs> yeah it was a great show. Uh, I know Bobby Darren. You were very close to Bobby. Bobby picked uh, all of my early hits, literally, and did the, uh, the engineering and all of that. Don Cushane, did Don Cushane, Red Roses for a Blue Lady, Dreams of the Everyday Housewife, Summer Wind. Wow. Uh, and produced all my albums for about, about the first ten albums. Yeah, we lost him way too early. Way too early. Yeah. We, uh, we have to take another break, and we're going to come back and talk a little more, and we are going to hear Mr. Newton open his mouth and have music come out of it. So, uh, stay <laughs> Nancy McKeon will be with us later. Uh, Lou Ferrigno, reporter Jeff Graham, has written a book about Las Vegas, a city you know a little bit about, and we're here, of course, with, uh, with Wayne Newton. You know, one of the things I admire about you, and I, and I don't mean to, to uh, demean other celebrities who get involved in causes because that's a good thing, but sometimes you have the feeling they show up at these events and these causes so they can be on entertainment tonight, <laughs> that night, you know, and be seen being caring people, if you know what I mean. Yes. Um, not that there aren't sincere ones. You do a lot of stuff, and you're, you're, you're pretty low-key about it, and I don't want to change that attitude of yours and, and, and try to drag stuff out of you. But, I mean, for example, uh, uh, you've done a lot of traveling uh, overseas, uh, visiting troops in some very troubled areas. You've been to, to Lebanon? I was in Vietnam twice in 1966 and 68, and I understand that, uh, that uh, you have a, or were over there. Yeah, same time. And uh, then I was in, uh, the first performer into Lebanon after uh, our, our embassy was attacked. This is for change for you And now you've gone 